What's up you guys? Welcome back to RAC Garage. So today is Travis's second day at the new shop and he already forgot the lift, his coffee, and this camera. So I just packed the kids up. I'm gonna get the lift. He kind of told me how to disassemble it. And then yeah, we're gonna head to the shop, pass the camera off to him and hopefully he's having a good day. I don't know. I wouldn't be too happy if I didn't have my coffee, but that's him and that's me. So let's get this lift and hopefully it's easy peasy to get in the car. I have to take this apart. I should be able to figure this out, right? I imagine it's this, but I don't know how to do it, so maybe I can just put it in like this. I feel like it should fit in like that. He said it wouldn't fit in with the handle, but I took the big part of the handle off. what the shop looks like now those are free on the side of the road so kind of a steal but yeah my car which I don't know if any of you guys watch my channel has been on a hiatus but she's there finally have a space to work on it and the 32 which is actually gonna go to the shop all right that's enough of me blabbing let's get in the Honda and go to the shop all right in the shop today i worked on the hood side for a little bit this morning and i'm ready to lower the front of this 33 i've been waiting for this axle to come in finally came in so we're going to start taking this front end apart i'm going to jack it up take the wheels off put some jack sands under it start taking the axle out and then installing not these. This. Look at that. Nice forged axle. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Let's get to it. You drilling? I need the impact. Impact? Uh, it might be a little. Yeah, Daddy, you might hear I don't think you need to hear.
cut the drum off. Now I'm going to work on getting the backing plate off. I'm just trying, you know, I'm making sure do everything correctly and I don't have to do things that I don't, I don't do things that I don't have to do. zip tie to tie that up on the brace. So I got all the brakes apart, back the plates off. Um, I took the steering stop out which also holds the kingpin from spinning. Now wipe its butt a little bit and hopefully knock this kingpin out. It should be easy enough. wants to come right out. Which is good. Which is good. All good news here. On the western front. Okay. You know what I probably should have done first? Tie rod? Where'd the tie rod go? They didn't get me a tie rod. That sucks. Okay. Um... Well, whatever. I'm going to have to figure that out. I just remembered that I have to take the tie rod off. And I'm thinking, I'm like, Posey's never gave me a tie rod. And I told them I need a corresponding tie rod for, you know, the narrowed setup that we're doing. And look what we got. No tie rod. Sometimes you just need a bigger hammer. hanging on a zip tie spindles brakes steering everything's disconnected here oh i gotta do the shock so i'm gonna take these tuck the, take the dog bone off of here uh loosen it from the shock and then this side should be fully disconnected uh the only thing i'm gonna do after this both sides are done is undo the back of the wishbone and we should be all done ready to pull this thing out obviously do the uh u-bolts in the center rip it out replace it Throw it back in. get it up on a table or something so I can not work like an animal. Uh, clean it up a bit, back in with the door axle. Nice. So I cleaned up the spindles, not a whole ton of grease left on them. Uh, cleaned the bearings off, now they're nice and shiny. We got this little shims there for each one of them. Hopefully it's the same thing, might need to get more shims. I'm gonna eat lunch, but after lunch, 
I'm gonna rip into this spring and swap it out. I'm gonna keep the original perch pins if I can. It should come out. Uh, this car is very clean and everything's kind of coming out apart very easily. So I think that'll come apart. Uh, if not, I have some heat. I can heat it. I uh, use the flame wrench on there and we'll just figure it out. Lunch has been devoured. I feel refreshed. Now, time to get messy and mess with this axle because there's grease all over this thing. It just is what it is. It's been together. It's been a running car for years. So it's all greasy from being maintained. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's all good. Just needs to get cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, let's just get after it. Start taking this thing apart. Like I said, I want to, uh, I think I actually want to bring my table over here or spin the table into the middle of the area fab area over there disassemble the axle and put the new axle together on the table because that's kind of my plan for the space uh, to have the table to work around we clean it off quick and then we'll hump the hump the axle and wishbone up there Probably be fine without it though. Um, yeah, I don't know. You guys are probably saying, keep the steering stabilizer. I hear you. I hear you. Fine. Don't look good. It's all messy. Too much stuff. Unless you can't see it, and that's a different story. So I'm gonna have to take this off like a barbarian and just kind of smash it out, you know? Whatever happens, happens. Here's the super bell. I'm going to grind off that Superman logo. Really not a fan of that. 
Uh, makes it look a super untraditional. I know. You're wasting your time. Who cares? Me. Somebody's got to care about stuff like that. You know? Nobody does. I don't know. Stuff ends up just, just looking like crap, you know? Because nobody cares. I care about the little small details. And you know, in the end, it just kind of just kind of adds up. spoon under here.
I'm in trouble when that doesn't work. Superman logo off the axle while I wait. That was unnecessarily tough. Considering how easy the other purge pen came out. I thought it was gonna be a breeze. Nope, that's how early forwards are, man. They trick you sometimes. Ah, it's gonna be easy. One falls right out practically in the other one. And that's the hottest I've ever gotten an axle to take a purge pen out. When one side falls out, makes no sense perks of having your buddy that paints two doors down so he's got that that good oh, come on showed you the wrong side what the heck man grab it correctly so you can see the brand try again take three he's got that good paint spray paint sem dude what's up so i'm gonna hit this uh you know with a scotch right quick because there's a couple spots that are got some rusty on them. so take the rust off and then we'll hit it with some black primer dude or black paint and self edge first Got the old crane paint booth here. I'm gonna have to touch up that where the chains are. I gotta figure out some kind of hook instead. Um, but for now, you know, that'll do. So I can figure something out. I don't have any material here to make anything, so it's just kind of what I got. So it'll work out pretty good. So now I gotta pinch the wishbones to fit with that axle because it's narrowed and they narrow the perch pin centers so you can you know narrow it makes sense um, if it was if they just narrow the ends you'd have a lot of steering clearance issues with um, your steering arms so that really doesn't work and I also have to drop those I forgot about that so yeah there's that so yeah let's um you know measure what it is figure it out figure the change i think it's an inch on each side it needs to be you know tweaked in uh we'll figure that out 
Let's see if you got the measurement. This needs to get sanded off anyway, so if I scratch it, I'm ahead of the game. Okay, 34 and a half. That's what I need to get the wishbone to. Okay, 36 and a half. And what did I say, 34 and a half? So what I want to do is heat this up, tweak it in an inch. They say obviously you can pie cut it, change it, but I don't want to cut anything. I'm very confident in my welds, but a weld is just another point of failure, I guess. If, if, if I keep it a homogenous piece, even though there is a weld here, this weld has lasted 100 years. So if I just heat it up, move it over, you know, that's, either way it's going to be fine. It's, that's just the way I want to do it, I guess, and I'm trying to make up reasons why I want to do it like that, when I can just say that's why I want to do it like that. So, that's the way I want to do it. It should be pretty easy. I don't know if I want to clamp it in the vise, heat it, and I pull on the whole wishbone and it should tweak it in, or do the end, yeah, because if I do the ends and I try to do it, I'm like fighting myself when I can just pull on the, yeah, that's a better idea. and I'll come over here and heat the ever-living crap out of this. I was trying to do bolts through here and kind of hang it a long way, but, you know, I ran out of, ran out of chain. A bolt. changes from 36 and a half to 35 and a half and then I'll chuck the other one in the vise and do the same thing until we get to 34 and a half because I don't want to you know if it's on the roast of pickup or something you know something mine I'm not like crazy about hey it's got to be exacto perfect though because it's just not life all the time, but someone else's face. Gonna make sure. Better make sure. Gonna get hot now. Absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Try again. Hot? Question mark? 
Probably. Both sides, maybe? That's probably what it is. Now I need another half inch. assemble it and drop the stinger on so I don't know why I just painted the axle because I'm gonna burn it up Whatever. all right so this is a shot of money boom so the axle is painted wishbone is 
kicked in both sides of course and I just need to get to dropping these steering arms but I gotta bolt them to the I think I do anyway bolt them to the axle unless I do it off the axle and I just kind of guess yeah and then just put them on test fit so I don't burn the paint on these on this nice axle I just painted might be the, the move yeah, that's gonna be tomorrow because it's 335 and I gotta do some cleaning up before I head out but guess who's here show up just in time to clean <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah he was he dropped off his work truck across the street to get fixed yeah he figured what the in hell the area. why not yeah just come on by I'll give me a ride see home. The shop, so I can you saw it already huh you saw it already I did see it already, but I was saying I could see the shop from where I oh, was. Like, oh, why wouldn't oh. I just stop by? Right. So, that's all I got for you guys. Catch you tomorrow.